hi guys it's pepe starling here you're welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be making this bustier with a yolk okay okay so i'm here i'm marking my shoulder to bust point shoulder to under bust and shoulder to waistline and then i added 1.5 for seam allowance okay, so i'm marking the same thing here and then i'm going to be connecting it with a straight line bust point under bust waistline and then our seam allowance and this is going to be serving as our shoulder line so coming over to the shoulder i'm marking my shoulder divided by two and i came down by one inch for our shoulder slope for the neckline i'll be making it 3.5 wide and 3.5 deep okay and i'm going to be connecting it like so To get your armhole depth, you're going to be dividing your bust divided by 6 plus 1.5. And what I have is 8.2. So I'm going to be marking it just like so. And this line is going to be serving as our chest line. Okay. So I'm going to be connecting it with a straight line. Okay. Then I'll divide these two points into two to get the midpoint. And on that midpoint, I'm going to come in by half an inch. Okay, so I'm going to connect this thing to form our uh, these dots to form our armhole curve. So from our bust point, we're going to be marking our bust span. Okay, so the bust span I'm working with is eight divided into two is four inches. Okay, so I'm marking it from the bust point on that bust all the way to the waistline. Okay, then I connect with this straight line. So from this under bust, I'm marking out two inches from the side and then one inch from the center front. Okay, so this is totally optional. You can decide to make both of them 1.5. So coming over to the bust line, I'll be coming down from this line by one inch and I'm going to connect my bust curve just like so. On the shoulder I'm going to be dividing this point into two and then I will connect it back to our bust point okay the measurement I have from my bust point to my under bust is four inches I'll be coming up from my bust point upwards by four inches you can decide to make it higher it's totally optional okay okay from that dot that we marked there okay I'm going to be marking one inch on both sides okay and I'm going to connect it back to our bust point just like so and I also connect the other side as well Now for our yoke, okay, it depends on how deep you want your yoke to be, okay. What I have here is about 9.5 inches. So you can go down below your chest line, you can come up depending on how much cleavage you want to show. Okay, so but I'm okay with this. So I'm connecting this line back to the chest line. So I'm going to measure from my bust point to that point like so and to make sure i have the same thing on this other curve as well so as you can see so now i'm going to mark it then i'll connect these two together so just like i said you can decide to make your deeper but for this tutorial i'm okay with what i have here so i'm going to connect this part to the armhole okay so this is going to be serving as our yoke. Next, we are going to be taking our body measurement. So both circumference I'm working with is 40 divided by 4 is 10. Then I added 2 inches seam allowance. I'm going to be replacing this dart intake here. And I replaced it also at this point. So 
so i'm just extending my lines okay to finish up the other measurement so on the under bust divided by four i have eight inches and i'm going to be replacing this three inches that intake and i also added two inches seam allowance then on the waistline 8.5 when divided by four then i'm replacing the dart intake and then added also added two inches seam allowance and then i connect them like so so this part i'm marking out is going to be cut off okay so this is what our bust here looks like this is the yoke our center front and this is the two side fronts okay okay so to pad our bust here okay on the center front i'm going to be coming down by one inch okay so this is to avoid our our wording not to interfere when we're joining around that neckline okay because i'll be padding it with a wording so i don't know what if the warden has another name i don't know what it's called in other places okay so from our under boss i'm just going to connect it with a straight line like so so the warden should take this shape okay so for this side as well i'm going to come back to this place and come down by one inch okay then the wideness around this bust here is totally optional so i'm going to be going as wide as five inches you can make yours for depending on the size of your bust and then i'm going to connect all the dots so to cut the skirt part of this dress okay i'm going to be using the hip or bust allocation method okay okay so for this method your front hip and your back hip will differ slightly and to determine that okay you're going to divide your hip into two the hip i'm working with is 44 inches okay so we're dividing it into two for the front and the back okay and when divided i got 22 for my hip okay so for the front we're going to take the 22 inches for the front we're going to subtract one inch from it you can subtract one you can subtract 1.5 okay so i'm going to divide it by two because we are going to cut on fold so when divided by two i have 10.5 so this 10.5 will be for the hip for the front then for the back i'm also going to take the 22 inches for the back and add the one inch i subtracted from the front okay so if you subtracted 1.5 or one you're going to add it back to the back hip okay and also divide it by two so when i divided it by two i got 11.5 so for the front hip 10.5 and for the back 11.5 okay okay so for the skirt part of this dress i'll be cutting it on the fabric because i don't have pattern paper at the moment so i'm going to be subtracting our half length before taking this measurement okay so i place my tape like so then I'm marking out my hip line, knee line, and then the full length of this dress, okay? The full length I'm working with is 63, 63 inches. So at this point, I noticed that the fabric is remaining just a little bit. So I'm just working with half an inch allowance, please. Try to make yours at least 1 inch to 1.5 seam allowance, okay? I didn't know that my phone wasn't recording when I was making all this mark. So what I did here is I measured my waist circumference and I added my seam allowance. And then on the hip, measured my hip. Remember our front hip that we're working with is 10.5 and I added seam allowance. And then I subtracted one inch from the hip measurement and I marked it on the knee and also added seam allowance. And I marked the same thing all the way to the hem. Then connect like so. okay so next you're going to be moving over to the back pattern so what i did here is i folded my fabric into two and i placed the front pattern on it just like so so here i'm just marking out um 
the part that is the main measurement and our seam allowance to make it more visible okay okay so i'm extending my hip line knee line and the waistline measure the back hip we're going to be measuring it from this point not from the seam allowance remember that point is our seam allowance so we're going to be measuring from our main measurement okay and we're going to be measuring inwards so here i'm marking 11.5 remember from our calculations we got 11.5 for the back okay so we're going to be connecting it back to the waist to that center front okay then on this point we're going to come down by about eight inches to nine inches okay and then we'll connect it remember this is our center front then we're going to connect it just like so and then we'll connect this one to the waist just like so okay so this is where the bolt is going to be sitting so now we can now start adding our zipper allowance and i'm adding 1.5 we can add in one inch sorry you can add one inch you can add 1.5 all the way okay remember we're following the center front except for the hip line where we'll have this hip extension okay so that's basically it for the bolt extension okay just watch carefully how I cut it out. So here I'm just notching the zipper allowance and the center front at the same time. Okay. And I'm going to be notching the knee line. Okay, so taking out the front piece. This is what the back looks like okay this is where the bolt is going to sit in place okay so for the front you're going to come down on the waistline by 0.75 okay this helps to eliminate any form of bulge around the waistline This is our front piece i've gone ahead to cut everything out okay this is our yoke i cut two pieces for the yoke because i want to use one to turn the neckline okay and also added wood into the bust area okay so this is our sleeve i've also gone ahead to cut this is a long sleeve this is the lining piece for the bustier area this is the lining for the back i have a tutorial on how how to cut a back piece just like this one and this is the skirt part i've also got a head to cut out the lining for all so i'll be uploading the sewing tutorial in my next video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment and subscribe